joined once again by the undisputed LFA featherweight champion, Kevin Aguilar, who's going to be uh, fighting against Joey Gomez on Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. Uh, Kevin, what's going on, man? How you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing great. You know, just uh, another great victory and, uh, you know, just keep training and, uh, you know, I got the call up. So here we go. Yeah, and we were talking a bit about this off air. Uh, were you a little bit surprised that it wasn't a UFC call up? I mean, I'm looking at the stats here. You know, six fight win streak, four finishes during that stretch. Uh, you know, a UFC vet in Damon Jackson and, and a contender series uh, alum in uh, Ton Lee. What more do you have to do, man? Uh, man, honestly, yeah, like you're right. I um, I'm as surprised as you are. Like, I figured I would have got a call up straight to the straight to the show. But uh, you know, hey, they asked me to fight for the contender series at uh, 155 pounds. So you know, you can't turn them down. So you yeah. step up and you make a play. No, I hear you, man. Um, how long did you know about this opportunity? Because I know a lot of times you find out the news, you can't say anything. You got to keep it under wraps. When did you find out about this fight? It was uh, about a three fight, uh, uh, three weeks, about three weeks. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, kind of short notice. And, uh, you know, we went up there to shake hands, meet the meet Dana White for one of the contender shows. And um, and we told him, like, hey, any anytime, any place, anywhere. And sure enough, uh, like a few days later, they send me a message saying, hey, we need you. So okay. sure enough, I'm going to step up. Is this weird at all for you, uh, fighting, not, o not only just fighting in Vegas, but not fighting under the Legacy slash LFA banner? I was looking it up here. You haven't fought outside of Legacy slash LFA since May of 2012. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Oh, yeah, man. Very crazy. I mean, I love LFA. I always, uh, every time I fight or get scheduled to fight, I'm like, okay, it's going to be a big show, big card because of LFA. But, um, you know, fighting for uh, the Contender Series for the UFC, uh, man, my mindset's always uh, just treat it like any other fight. I'm going to go in there, uh, I'm going to go into work, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to handle business. Absolutely. And let's talk about your opponent here, Joey, uh, Joey Gomez. 4-0 record, undefeated. How do you feel like you match up against him? Uh, very well, man. He's, uh, he's never fought anybody like me. I'm not going to take him lightly. He's the most dangerous fighter I've ever fought so far. And, uh, you know, I'm going to come on my game. I'm going to put on a show. I'm going to make history tonight, uh, that night. Yes, and, I, I know what you meant. Obviously, yeah, there, there's no contender series tonight. But, uh, yeah, they're actually they're skipping this week, which is interesting. Um, but uh, the one thing I look at in this fight, and I'm sure a lot of people do, the experience factor. You have 11 more fights than him. That's a big gap uh, between a 4-0 guy and a 14-1 uh, and one guy in, in yourself. Um, do you feel like experience is going to play a factor in this fight? Experience always plays a factor. It, uh, it always comes down to who's uh, who's going to show up, you know. A lot right. of people think, a lot of his camp probably thinks that I'm just going to go in there, sleep on him. Not the case. Mm -hmm. Not the case. He's the, he's a, in my mindset, he's the best fighter around that I'm going to face today. This yeah. Tuesday, this coming, uh, this uh, next Tuesday, it's, uh, I'm going to show up and I'm going to show out. Um, he, he's, a, he's a dangerous fighter because he's got nothing to lose. He's got everything to gain and he can, uh, he's, like I always tell people, you got a fighter's chance. You got a puncher's chance. Okay. Yeah. No. No. I, I completely agree with that. Uh, one quick thing on the, on the date of this fight. Uh, were you initially told that the fight was supposed to be tonight? Because I, I knew a few guys that were on that July 10th card. They were initially told they were fighting the week before. Did you? Were you always July 10th, or did, were, did they tell you July 3rd? Yeah. Uh, for me, it's always been July 10th. They okay. uh, they never really told me anything else. Okay. Fair enough. Just uh, yeah, just asking about that. Um, as far as training camp, business as usual, same training partners and all that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Business usual. My training partners, Derek Krantz, um, uh, Brant Moore, Errol Juarez, Steve Jones, uh, James Compton, my hand mitt guy, my hand mitt coach, uh, Larry Maxim and Wade Pomeroy, always keeping me on point, on track. And, uh, you know, uh, the API, Josh and Holly, always keeping me in the best kind of conditioning. So, uh, you know, business as always, man, I'm, I'm tuned up and ready to go. And this is uh, at lightweight, so you're moving up a weight class for this one. Is that a little bit nice, not having to worry about those extra 15 pounds that just focus on the fight? Uh, I like 145 pounds. I like the weight cut. It never bothers me. Uh, but, yeah, those uh, extra 15 pounds, it's going to be kind of weird and pretty nice when you, when you think about it. Do you cut a lot of weight to get to 45? Like, how is the cut going to be getting to 55? Uh, honestly, I don't cut too much weight at 45, so 55 isn't going to be that hard for me. Okay. That's good. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? It's going to be my coach, uh, Wade Pomeroy and uh, James Compton. Nice. And uh, how do you see this fight playing out? Uh, it seems like knockouts have been your thing lately, uh, your last couple of fights especially. Are we going to see another one here on July 10th? Oh, man, I'd love to give you another knockout. But uh, my game plan is, you know, go in there, stick and move. He's a wrestler from what I hear, so I'm not going to uh, 
you know, play the wrestling game with them and uh, keep them on the outside and, and uh, try to put them away for y'all. And, and how much confidence does it give you, you know, having those past couple of fights that you've had, like the Damon Jackson win, like the Ton Lee win, where you finish those guys? I mean, we know in Contender Series, you have to finish if you want to get the contract. A lot of guys, you know, there's some guys who've been going to decisions. They're probably a little bit nervous taking an opportunity like this. But you, you've been there and you're getting these finishes, not just against opponents, but high level opponents. Oh, um, honestly, those uh, those wins don't even matter anymore, man. I'm going to go in there like I've never fought before, and uh, I'm going to get the win uh, regardless. Uh, knockout, submission, I'm going to finish the guy. I mean, it's, it's going to happen. Okay. Uh, last question here. Uh, you watching any uh, TV or playing any video games during training camp? Anything to take your mind off of fighting? Oh, man. Uh, let's see here. What have I been doing lately? Been uh been watching a lot of the uh, the uh, classic office, you know that's uh, that's course. a fun show. Getting into the uh, the Karate Kid, the new Karate Kid series. Mm -hmm. Ah, the Cobra Kai, nice. Yeah, Cobra Kai. So that was really cool. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I, they really did a good job with it. Uh, from from what I hear, I haven't watched it yet, but I hear really great things about it. Oh yeah, and uh, me and my girlfriend uh, Lacey, we're uh, we're starting to. She's starting to get me into painting. She's okay. uh, she's really she's a really talented painter. So I'm like trying to trying to learn that trying to get okay. good at it. <laughs> that's good though a new hobby outside of fighting kind of takes your mind off things i can dig it that's pretty cool what, what are what are some things that you painted so far so far just some superhero stuff you know captain america shield batman logo just to start off <laughs> excellent no that sounds good man well we're looking forward to seeing you unleash some uh, captain america here in the cage again july 10th it's dana white's tuesday night contender series live on ufc fight pass kevin it's always good talking to you man and again congrats on this opportunity just uh remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media and if you got any sponsors or shout outs the floor is yours man uh thank you man um you can reach me at uh on my instagram at kevin aguilar aod along with my twitter kevin aguilar aod on my facebook kevin aguilar uh, the Angel of Death, uh, Team 515. Thank y'all for always uh, being in my corner and always being my crew. Um, you know, best training around. Uh, all my guys that are coming up that are fighting here soon for uh, AKA show, um, the 27th. And uh, let's see here. I want to thank my sponsors, Avco Roofing, um, War Tribe for all my gear, and uh, always taking care of us. Uh, Josh Foster Plumbing, Randy's AC, uh, Marisol's. Uh, Green Wisdom Health for all my great supplements that y'all provide me. Um, see Bernardo's Barbershop for always hooking me up with a straight fade. <laughs> uh, no, nah, but uh, everybody who's uh, helped me out uh, on my journey, thank y'all. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to let y'all down. Lacey, uh, thank you for uh, taking care of me, girl, and uh, love you, baby. What's up, Fight Fans? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to see even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters. We've also got coverage at events, including post-fight press conferences and media scrums. And if you like this video, check out the video to my right. It's worth your time.